Hi, I'm Chris Brinkley, one of the voices of Hear Here. I thought I would take a moment today and take a break from recording Hear Here stories and show you what it looks like behind the scenes for the narrators. This is my studio. It's a very small room, four feet by six feet, soundproof, got the padding on the walls to minimize the echo. And this is where I record the stories. Now the writers, they do all the research, they write and edit the stories and then send those stories to the narrators. And that's where I come in. I read the story here off an iPad and then record the story on this computer, which I use Adobe Audition recording software to tell the story. And this gives me the opportunity to edit out the mistakes. And there are a whole lot of mistakes usually that I need to edit out. Uh, but man, even though I'm in this little room every day recording here, here stories, I feel like I'm in a time machine. I feel like that I have the opportunity to travel back a hundred years, even a thousand years as we tell the story of the United States of America. When one of the founders, Bill Whirlin, first told me his idea about Here Here, I was in. I mean, honestly, I feel like it's the most ambitious and significant project I will ever be a part of telling the story of the United States of America, one word at a time. And so many stories have stood out to me. I've learned so much standing in this room, behind this microphone, reading these hear, hear stories. The tragedy of the Trail of Tears, the triumph of the Revolutionary War, the stories of the caves and mountains that are found all over the United States of America. Even today, I'm a sports broadcaster. I've seen thousands of basketball games, broadcast thousands of basketball games, seen thousands of jump shots. Today, I read a story about a gentleman named Glenn Roberts, who was from Pound, Virginia. I don't know if you've ever heard that name. I hadn't. Glenn Roberts is credited with creating the jump shot, the simple jump shot. Again, I've seen thousands of jump shots never associated with a gentleman named Glenn Roberts. And here's why. Here's why. Back in the early 1900s, when he was playing basketball, there were no gymnasiums, no concrete, so they played outside in the dirt, just like I did when I was a kid in the backyard in the, in the bare spots. Um, and the ball was constantly getting dirty. So Mr. Roberts decided that if you didn't bounce the ball, if you just caught it and shot over the defender, uh, the ball wouldn't get dirty and you could still win the game. He created the jump shot. Who knew? When I tell these stories, I want to honor people like Glenn Roberts. I want their story to be told. I want to honor those we tell the stories about. I want to honor the places. I want to engage with the listener. I want to make it a great experience for the listeners traveling throughout the United States of America. So every day I come in this little four by six room I call my time machine and I record these wonderful hear hear stories. That's a look behind the scenes. Thanks for taking a minute to hang out with me. I have to get back to work. I have a lot of stories that I have to tell. Till then.